Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. Hot, let me start getting up under him and put a little paper in their pocket mm -hmm. and start, you know, getting close to him. So he flew, he didn't fly me out, he didn't call me. Right. Everybody on no limit in the Bahamas except for me. They out there kicking it. So when they come back, I could feel, I could sense their attitude of them. They got a different swag about them, you know. Yeah, they bop a little bit. Yeah, you know, the crew got them some Versace shades, Versace belts, you know. You know, they you know, they feeling themselves a little bit. Is that when and you so, became the king of Oakland? And the bath gave called himself, you know, so and I <laughs> set him down again. I say, listen, I'm telling y'all, man, don't accept nothing from him. He said, Oh no, it's good. It's good. Peace said they all gifts. I said, that's what he gonna say. I already told y'all that. I told you that's what he's gonna say. So next day, I know. They riding around West Oakland in brand new super sporting pilots. Mm, balling. I said, man. 96 big body sitting and, on and like, like I said at the beginning, I'm, I was always that guy that played the backfield. You're right. You know? So I got cash running up on me talking about, man, y'all seen, you seen Crook and Bathgate? Them niggas yeah. got a deal with Master P. They got brand new cars and everything. They telling me this. Like you don't know nothing. And I'm like, you know, I'm still riding around in my same little whips. Right, you know? right, right. I got a big brown K5. Ain't been painted or nothing. Just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm still riding around in yeah. that. I'm like, okay. That's right. <laughs> so I call the cast up. I'm like, man, what y'all doing? They both pull up to my mom's house because I had my studio set up in my mom's apartment in Cypress Village. Mm -hmm. They both pull up. I said, what y'all doing? Oh, man, peace say these gifts, man. I said, I told you he going to say that. Man, he ain't going to do nothing, man. He ain't for the trip like that. I'll say, listen, all this stuff is recoupable. He said, no, nah, it ain't recoupable. He, he said these gifts. I'm like, I'm telling you it's recoupable. Long story short. Uh, I remember. I remember this day like it was yesterday because I had a I had a Chevelle, okay. super clean, okay. mm. super clean. I had it fully restored, and I remember uh, riding down Tenth and uh, Tenth uh, Mandela. There's a stop sign right there where you're supposed to stop, and I was Master P called me. He called me on my phone, my cell phone, and I answered the phone. I stopped at the stop sign to answer the phone, and it's a it's a four way stop, so the, this car coming, you know how you're supposed to stop. Yeah. So I was, I'm thinking this car for the stop because I didn't right. already stop, so I'm for the I take off, but the car don't stop. It keep going mm -hmm. and scrape the whole front of my Chevelle. And so I'm sitting there waiting for the police to come, you know, to get to make the report. And Pete telling me he excited. He like, man, your boys, man, they doing good. I said, what you mean? He said I pressed up 250,000 units and they already gone. I'm about to go press up another. They already got a pre-order for another 250. He said they hmm. did better than what he expected. So they about to be this gold. first week? First week. Hold on, y'all. And at this time, all Master P <laughs> shit is in all the stores, all no, the we, we got We got to talk about boards. the power of, 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 of what the music business was, streams, physical sales. Right, yeah, these physical sales. sales. These are physical copies, y'all. Yes. These are not streams. People went to the store and, bought and purchased them. Two hundred and fifty thousand, and they got another pre. This is in the first week, right first now. Week crazy. We talking about that's Drake numbers right now, right? We but talking see, about steady mobbing. What, so these what, niggas was gold in no time. Well, what it was, they was the only thing over at No Limit that didn't sound like a, a down south group. Okay, they was a West Coast group. They had West Coast production. That's that's, sure. it, that's it steady right there. Mobbing. That's it right there. So that's it. What, what P was doing. He had billboards up. So if you seen a billboard of Steady Mobbin right there uh, mm -hmm. by the mall, by East My Mall uh -huh. at the time. Every, wherever you seen a billboard, he had that in every city set up. Yes, he did. Mississippi, Atlanta, Alabama. He had, you know, he had a whole marketing program. So oh, every record store had their own no limit section. Right, and people was just buying every stuff that had, had no limit movie. attached to it. Yeah. But when they picked that one up, that was that had a different sound from the no limit sound. You know, Beats by the Pound got like maybe one track that we added, maybe one or two tracks added on there. Everything so that's else all you. is produced by me. Mm. And he was, I think, I'm thinking that he was gambling. He didn't know if it was me or was it the group. So he bet it on the group. He bet it on the group because so, he got beats by the pan. Right. So what he did was he finessed him because it got to the point where we start going down to no limit. We on different flights now. 
they not even flying with me now. That's crazy. <laughs> now they bigger than you. Yeah, they they flying on their own. We meeting at this, we meeting down there. Now I'm hanging out with C Murder and Snoop. That's who I was hanging. Every time I went down, I hang out with C Murder and Snoop. Oh, they Snoop. on the same. They hanging out with you know everybody else. Right. You know, and I'm like. And C Murder was like, well, what's up with your boys? I don't, y'all, y'all into it or something? Like, I don't know, man. They ain't, they ain't holler at me, so, you know, I ain't tripping. Damn. So, long story short, uh, they, uh, I told them, I had, I said, I had to meet, no, this is what happened. I remember, I remember now what happened. We riding, they call, I'm riding. They, Babgate called me, and he got crook on the other line. They on separate. They they not at the same. They on separate phones, right? And uh, now they looking for money for from this project. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> okay. So they like Bab. They like DJ man. What's up with the money from the uh, from the uh, cr- um, premeditated? I say I don't know. I ain't heard from P. Uh, I got to call down to the office and see what's up. He say, Yeah, man, we need to see what's up with that money. You know, that's our bag. Right, right, right. So I call. Um, no limit, and uh, P got his boy named Tavesta running all that that part of the company. So I, I'm on the phone with Tavesta. I said, "Yeah, man, it's been a while now. They try to see what's up with the money." So all of us on the phone, Babgate, Crook, they on the phone. They not really seeing nothing. They just listening. Right. So I'm I'm like, so what's up with the uh, sales on that? He said, "Okay, uh, I got I got a check here for you. It's for sixty four thousand." I say sixty four thousand. That doesn't won't sound right. It should be somewhere like one point two million or something. Right, right. <laughs> you know. Right. And he said, "Oh, uh, well, you know, your boys. They got they 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 racked up a nice, pretty, pretty big big bill." Yeah. Mm. I say, "Oh, here we, here we go. go. Here we go." And he started naming off two cars, trips to the Bahamas, Versace suits, and hotels, bills and hotels, and flights, and all kind of stuff. Now, are you doing your calculations on what's being owed by? Because well, see, I don't know. Because they going off. See, Pete didn't. I didn't. I never got no advances for the record. I only got advances for me being a part of the production team. In the music business, I'm saying though, like, how did that work when it all used to break down to a dollar? Well, the deal that me and Pete had was a, a 60-40 split. Okay. I came with the project already done. All he had to do was put his stamp on everything. Oh shit, you had some. Right, so I should have been seeing something really mm-hmm. nifty and I, so, and I had a deal already worked out with Steady Mom because they was a part of Bomb Shelter Production. I don't got my Rain Man math together, right? But <laughs> 64,000 with one point something being old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is is like, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Like, they <laughs> racked up a million and something in advances. So this is what P was doing. He Cause he he want a second album on him now. Okay. So I'm so this day I'm t- I, th- I hear all the numbers. And I'm like I'm telling them numbers ain't right, and they on the other end of the phone. They hearing all that. So I'm like okay, let me call these cats and tell them what's going on. Okay. They on the phone. They hear everything. They ain't saying nothing. So he hang up. I see. Did y'all hear what he said? Bavgay say man. I hear I hear Crook. You know he's sucking his teeth like man. And Bavgay gonna say. What's up with that sixty-four <laughs> thousand? I kid you that not. That nigga thinking, man, I can't even make this up. Man, I'm nigga, like, like man, I'm like, wait a minute, nigga, y'all what? done tapped into my portion of the money. However, we gotta right. split this. I'm finna buy some coke. <laughs> I'm to the block. This shit is over with. And I said, I say, man, I told y'all, man, not to take no advances from the, that cat, man. So. When them cats are still in Oakland, before even before that, were they still? Hustling? So what they did? No, what happened was, now it ain't no money. But see, I already know this is a game. This is the music game. This right, is the hustle game. Right, right. So P, he gonna shut the water, the money off. He gonna cut it off for a little bit mm-hmm. because now what he he's doing he's gambling. He's seeing if I'm worth the gamble, or is they they're worth the gamble. He took the gamble on them, so he gonna lock them in. Okay. He wanna lock them in, so. To that's to tell me, P, P want to sign a group. He want to sign steady. P want to sign steady mobbing directly over to No Limit because he want to make him a down south group. Mm. And I'm like, you already got some down south groups. Part of the reason why this album was so successful is because they're a West Coast group. Mm. Right. He said, yeah, but we think that they got a bigger market down here down south. And I mm. said, well, that's up to them if they want to. 
jump ship with me and go sign with y'all, that's up to y'all. Mm -hmm. That's up to them. So mm -hmm. I left it up to them to go over there. So in my mind, I'm thinking they didn't re-sign and did a deal with P because now they got a new album coming out called Crime Buddies. Okay. So the album came out. <clears throat> now, I'm on my last year. I'm telling everybody I'm not coming back next year because I don't like the way things are moving over here. I'm just going to do something else. And sure enough, they put out another album, Crime Buddies. Didn't do no numbers. Mm. So now P ain't taking no calls. Mm. Mm. Apparently, you know, Crook got caught up with some weed at the airport, but I, it's more than that. Everybody was getting in trouble. Over there. Right, right, right. right, he was, right. They wasn't doing no numbers. He, he, like I said, he gambled on, on them over me because he didn't know if it was my production that was making them sell or was it their raps. Right. right. And he gambled it on them being the raps, and then it was a clear cut situation. They only did like maybe sixty thousand units or something like that. Mm. So it, it wasn't it was it wasn't the same as the first as for this sure. project. So so so. Um, now he ain't answering no phone calls. For and me. you still shopped them around and now, had to settle on an independent deal. What happened was they came back to me. Okay. And it was like, D, man, we made a mistake. We try to get back right. We need you. They still got the Impalas? Yeah, they got, well, now they got two brand new Yukon trucks now. Okay. Because see, what P did was the money that they made off of this project. He, he was making he them see, remixed everything. He was making mm -hmm. them think they was getting money from the next project. Right, but it was right. really all their money from the gate. From the gate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he even bought them two houses. They got houses out there and two Yukon Denali trucks and Impala. So, they, so the houses are down there. So they're really his houses. I don't really know because I stepped away from the whole situation. But then, you know, I'm, I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. I know they had the Denali's. You know, I'm sure he pulled the shoes. Like. And something that I, did, that I didn't, uh, we didn't touch on when, you at no limit mm -hmm. what is the temperament between no limit and cash money in the competition are you see hearing about those dudes coming up well we st when it was they was you know what the, what was going on is they they was calling the ballers hot boys okay and i remember a cd seeing hot boys in the office and i was like what's 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 the hot boys and nobody wanted to really answer <laughs> okay so okay. i i didn't I didn't trip on it no more. Okay. So I, it was really no, nothing true. I know it was something there, but I didn't know exactly what it was. Which which leads me to ask you this too, because I don't want to lead this out. To, which, uh, um, I, I, this is a Master P question, right? Mm -hmm. um, about his creativity or not his creativity, right? With that being said, he shoots a movie called Hot Boys, mm -hmm. right? Which is already a group, right? I remember it being controversy behind that. He also has... Uh, this ice cream man thing, and you from the Bay Area, knowing that where that come from, and that would derive. Mm -hmm. Have y'all have you ever had a conversation with Master P? Because in hip hop, he's a notorious biter. Yeah, um, <clears throat> with the ice cream man thing, it was kind of evident. I didn't even ask about that. Yeah, and the hot boy thing, I knew what that was because like, but it's so much mm -hmm. more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit that Master P done did. He, was he approachable like that to even have that conversation? Yeah. If you were to? Yeah, he's he's a cool dude, man. He really yeah. is. He's a, he, I can't knock him for his business. How he, you know, he's, yeah. he's a shrewd businessman. Yeah. You know, I can't knock him for what he is. But, yeah, yeah he's approachable. He's he cool. approachable. Yeah, he's Just the hip hop in me, the hip hop kid in me wanted to know. Because, you know, like, that's our culture. Like, you know, in other genres, a motherfucker make a cover album. <laughs> and it'd be perfectly fine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? ZZ Top might record a motherfucking album that came out 30 years ago and nobody mm -hmm. got a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But you know, just like the age thing in hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? New college kids discover rock groups all the oh, time. Sorry. Every yeah. year. And you know what I mean? Like, this is my favorite group. Like, yeah. motherfucker, you was born now. How is <laughs> this your favorite, favorite group? group? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. we look at our legends and shit like, oh, this motherfucker washed up and shit. And that's where I think the element be missing like just say for now if you let's just say if you was able to be in a session with mustard mm -hmm. knowing that his sound came from where you was the shit you created mm -hmm. and you'd be able to be like nah what if you the dr dre shit right dr dre is sit back and motherfucker create something he like like look he fucking with knives you know what i'm saying <laughs> like turn this up do this like you know what i'm saying so i just be you know i'll be wishing that motherfuckers would accept that more because that part of the game is was to me is what's missing, and it it don't give the music no warmth, no depth. It ain't rich. It's mm -hmm. just 
this microwave. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, I'm gonna tell you, I don't like to work with other producers. You, you know? don't? I'm gonna tell you why. Now, you remember I told you me and EA Ski, we kind of started our career together. Right? Okay, right. okay. And I always say, I'm a, I told my wife, I said, I'm, I'm gonna bring this up because I need to, I need to give him this. So when when I when I got all the equipment that I was that I got, um, I let EA Ski use one of my SB twelve hundred. I had two SB twelve hundreds. Okay. I let him use one, and you know we was tight like that, you know. And he made a beat in there, sample sample beat, and um, I think I let him keep it for like a couple of days, maybe three or four days, maybe a week. I don't remember exactly. But when I get when they when I got it back, he was telling me I got a sample in there. Make sure you hold on to my sample for me. I'm like, okay, I got you. So we went to the studio doing the 415, right? The the disc is left in the drum machine first. So when you when I hit it, the beat, his beat come on. The sample, it's the sample, right? 415 song. The four, the, the one, the bow, five. Bow, 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 now. Yeah. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two. Yeah. So. Hey, Slick Money, what a light switch at in this <laughs> right. motherfucker. So Rich heard it. He was like, what's that? Hey, bro, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, this is my boy. He ain't ski, man. My boy, my boy, I didn't tell him. I didn't. I don't know if I told him his name. But I'm like, this is my boy. This is a little B. He sampled, right? Yeah. He said, man, I got to have that one. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, I'll work it out with ski. And I, I, we added some bass line and some other stuff to the beat and all that. But, uh. I never got to tell this story. It's the first day, the first time I'm telling the story because EA Ski, me and him, we we didn't fall out, uh -huh. but we just lost contact. We could just drifted apart from one another, and I I didn't know at the time what it was because you know you, you get so busy and success coming and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I mm -hmm. I didn't realize why me and him not tight no more. Oh. Uh, that, that doggone beat. That one beat. I'm gonna tell you something. That's crazy. <laughs> That's why we are no vultures, man. We are gonna unite explosive. this community again, once and for all. All <laughs> of well, you know, all, all of us. We coming back. We gonna be in one room at one time, giving big hugs, man. <laughs> I, I had to say that because I think right now that's part of the reason why. The town is so separated. Yes, you know what I'm saying. It's yes. just really separated. When I, I was looking at uh, one of the uh, drink champs, mm -hmm. and I seen where uh, Puffy bought Nori a Maybach. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. I know drink champs is part of uh, Revo, right? Mm -hmm. And I know he's probably making a lot of money, but he mm -hmm. said, he, "I'm gonna buy this for your birthday." And that kind of unity is all out there. Yeah, it's not out here. Yes. This shit get I'm gonna tell you it's, it's, something. They have they they have allowed me to have some of these guys phone numbers that's factors, and I take every single day to remind them of what they should be doing. Yeah, and how we should be conducting ourselves because we got some powerful dudes around here. Man, man. we got some and we got some talent out here. Yeah, There's a lot of. But talent. I mean, on the on the, on the, on the aspect of Puffy. You know, have being puffy and having revolt, but I'm saying there's executives and people here that mm -hmm. have been in power. Like I'm talking about major factors, and I'm saying, on, we, what do we have these the, weird ass feelings towards one of each other? Yeah, you this know, this is what the Jocon Capital, man. Look, man. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta work towards that. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and, and I'm gonna tell you something. That right there, having that story never told, to say it like that, humanizing yourself and saying it's not mm -hmm. folk. Yo, I'm no. hella mad me and my boy ain't spoke, but mm -hmm. bro, this is what happened. They hit play. Yeah, and they heard and it. We and had I to was go. like, I I'm trying to tell them, man, that's not yeah, really yeah. available because that's my boy, but you know. Man, like, we had man. to go, man. But listen, when I hear these other stories, they laughing about this shit. Mm -hmm. We can't be we can't be old bitter people. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? Know, EA Ski he's dope. He's been he's dope. dope as you know? I, and uh I'm dope as well. So yeah. I can uh, say yeah, that's he and that some together. of those stories have happened, and the nigga didn't turn out to be an EA ski. Mm -hmm. They turned out to be a level lower. Yeah. They yeah. really bitter. Yeah, like <laughs> put your car on flat yeah, yeah. while you in the club. Bitter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know but I needed to get that out. But that's one of the reasons why I don't work with producers. There's yeah. another guy. He played some keyboards on a song I did for uh, Sebo, Money by the Tons. Name Kenny Kennedy Lofton. Money by the ton is hard. Yeah, I did that. That was so. At that time, Kennedy was a part of my production team. It mm, was okay. just me and him, and he would play little keyboard melodies, and he played on that song. And man, he wants—he never got his credit for it. 
And he like, D man, I was, why didn't they put my? I'm like, oh, but when, man. but when, but when we hear, <laughs> but, 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 but we sit up here and watch Dr. Dre on the Super Bowl get behind the keyboard, knowing that that's Scott that's Storch, Storch keys. Mm-hmm. But it's not. It's you know what I'm saying. It's but like he, Scott Storch is. You know he's Scott Storch. You know it's Scott, but you know what? I understand. Everybody want credit for what they you know for the, they want they shine. I get it. Yeah, you know yeah. and and right now this is the time I'm giving him his shine. I'm giving yeah, that's, that's his shine. Show. I'm give get that man his time. Right. Stay on blue. Stay on blue. I'm just trying to stay racked up like you. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair around like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer. I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga. We don't save hoes. Yeah, rest in peace, the little.